<laughs> hey, what's up, guys? This is Team Hard Life Captain Albert Sarkucha here. All right, so with part of. Ooh, that's going to be a problem. Dang it. I wonder if this side's going to do it. Yep, that side's going to do it too. Yeah. I got an idea. Okay. So what's happening is this is too long on this side and this side. So I'm thinking if I take it down, because it's almost to the base here, if I could take down or send down the um the threads on here about a quarter of an inch, I should be good. It should be able to slip right under that which means it should fit all reels. <clears throat> Let me go try that. Took it down about a quarter of an inch. Let's see how this works out. First test is to make sure it still gets in the threads without messing anything up. Alright, we are good to go. So the reason why I am doing this video is to show you all the amount of work it takes to be able to make our videos happen. Right here I've got our Team Hard Life T-Rex 130 on it. And I say Team Hard Life on there because it actually says Team Hard Life right here on the, uh, the inscription. It's actually etched in there instead of a regular serial number. So that is another one of um, Abbott's rare reels right there. So, what I've got to do is downspool my reel here because I'm also prepping it for a shark tournament that the guys will be fishing in this weekend so that way I can lend it to them. So that's the beauty of Team Hard Life, you know, being on the team, the members get access to all the gear here so that way even though they may not have it, because we are a team, I work together with them so that way they have the best advantage to competing in these big tournaments with using proper gear. So, not saying they couldn't do it with their own gear, it's just I'm giving them a, another helping hand up like they always do me. They got my back and I got theirs. Didn't know I was spinning that fast. But. So I'm going to take off the splice here. And then I'm going to downspool the other reel that we got to downspool to get the line so we can do this spool and library addition. Alright, so here we go. This is an 80. 
that we're going to downspool as well. We are going to remove the 16 strand reaction tackle back onto the spool. We still haven't cut it yet from when we initially spooled it. Uh, the reason for that is because we wanted to get a line capacity of what it would look like on the T Rex 130. The reason for this is because guys have been talking about how much the reaction tackle is a good, good, good grade, this, that, and well, I'm putting it to the test by putting it in the spooling library. One of the main things is, for us, is line capacity. Line capacity is a big thing for us, and there's always two ways to look at it. You got a lot of guys that think that you should not have that much line on a reel because the fish are up close. And for guys like us that know better, for our fishing areas, what I mean, what I mean by that, guys, is where we fish at, we've tried fishing up close, we try fishing far, we don't always stay in one general area for fishing. The reason for that is because the fish don't always sit in one area. Yes, you can get lucky a few times and stuff like that, but you know, a lot of people aren't posting how many times they have to fish shallow to catch that one shark. We are posting whether we catch it up close or out far, and y'all see how many trips we go on when we do it. So we're bringing you the real knowledge by putting all that information out there for y'all to chew on. And that's how we, we roll, guys, so. Lots of large chunks of coloring there. You'll see them once I pull the spool off. <clears throat> and again, guys, I'm only moving it over to the 130 so we can get a line capacity of this braid onto the spool of a T Rex 130. Since this line will be gone after this weekend, they have authorized us to do some spool capacities with some different reels and so we've got a few reels that we're going to play with but we're going to start out with the 130. Now though sitting there thinking about what I was talking about earlier about being able to catch sharks up close that is the dream <laughs> for sure I tell you what being able to you know, only have to yak 300 yards or 200 yards or 150 yards and catch monster sharks all the time would be phenomenal. That, that hands down would be so awesome. You know what I mean? It would definitely make it easier for guys that are tired of going way to the deep to try to catch them. And that's because we fish shallow too. You know, we run baits short, we run baits medium, we run baits far and then really far. So with that being said, you know, we don't know where the fish are biting that day when we go out there unless we have talked to somebody that's already been catching them at a certain height or whatever and share the information with us, which is pretty awesome because we have done that, you know, and we do that with a bunch of fishermen because we know one day they'll be out there and they'll do the same for us. You know, it's all about sharing on the catches and, and even then you could be fishing exactly the same depth as them and not turn a click. I have seen that as well. You know what I mean? We were side by side by other camps. Those camps were catching, we weren't, or vice versa. And you know, it happens. It, it, at the end of the day, it is fishing. So, here we go. Zero out my line counter. <clears throat> and I'm only putting this on the spool as a test run, guys, so I will not be tying the knot. But I'm gonna wrap it around a bunch of times so that way I can get the braid to at least hold so I can start the spooling and get it going.
guys, I'm at 500 yards of the 130 pound on this 130. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm gonna keep it going. Eight hundred yards and still rocking it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> One thousand yards of one thirty on here, and we're right at a fingertip right there. So let's just keep it going. Thirteen hundred yards. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's 1,800 yards of 130 on this 130. And we still got about half a finger going. So let's rock it. <clears throat> Two thousand yards of hundred and thirty. Hmm. Hmm. I was thinking it was gonna take twenty five hundred to fill it up. Let's see how close I was to that guess. <laughs> That's 2,500 and it's got plenty more braid on there. So we'll keep it going. 
So we're at 2,565 yards of 130 on this 130 of the 16 strand <coughs> reaction tackle. There you go. So it could easily get uh, 2,700 yards is what I'm thinking, just to be safe. <laughs>